Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 91 of my AVP Let's Play series. So today I wanted to make an armory. Um, apologies for no video being out in um, about three days. Uh, just been having a lot of stuff happen. Uh, if you're curious to see what's been happening, uh, I've got other outlets that you can check. Um, but I won't talk about here. Talk about it here on this episode. Anyway, um, yes, armory. I want to get an armory. I haven't forgotten about Nanku. We're still aiming for. We've still got that goal of ours. Our current mission, I mean, is to piss off the Yacha so much that we can draw them out, or at least make them give us Nanku back or something. So. I was thinking I was going to be killing Yacha anyway. What wouldn't be better than having an entire armory dedicated to ripping apart Yacha with diff different types of weapons? So I also wanted to make an armory much earlier on in the series. So this is sort of like two birds, one stone. Anyways, um, before we do anything regarding the armory, uh, the armory probably, if it's too long, I won't do time lapse. If it's, if, it's, if it's short, if it doesn't take too much time to build, I'll do a little time lapse. But before I do that, I just want to quickly grab some Yacha. I want to quickly show you what my new weapon is that I got. So, what I did since last episode is I grabbed the Looting Enchantment, Sharpness Enchantment, and Unbreaking Enchantment. And put them all on, on top of a Celtic Sword that I called the Species Slicer. So, what we're going to do with this guy is... We're going to grab some Yacha and see how well we can kill them <laughs> uh yes i wouldn't mind decorating my armory with yacha skulls just because i can uh now we're just gonna find where i put everything i'm trying to remember where i put all those yacha okay i remember now <laughs> all right oh also 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 before we um before we continue um a lot of you were suggesting that i just reacquire the ability to fly since we are no longer giving a flying fuck about whether or not the Archer think we're dishonorable or honorable. So I'm going to get my flying abilities back. So um, I'm pretty sure our essence armor has it. Did we ever? Yeah, we deleted it, but it should be pretty easy to craft it again. <laughs> um, I could use the ring, but instead I'm just going to use the armor. I mean, at this point we can do whatever we want. I'll probably kill the wither off camera and craft another, another pair of ring. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll probably kill the wither off camera and craft another pair of wings, but for now, here it is. I think it's the essence infused. Yes. Cool. This thing allows us last flight. So I'm just going to quickly craft these, these guys. Uh, that should be enough. Holy crap. That was enough. <laughs> One, two, We are about to reacquire something that was long lost. We can now fly. Once again. I'm still going to keep this armor in my backpack. So, I actually don't need... Hang on, let me just check. And chuck one of these away. That can go in there. Okay. So, I'm going to leave my alien armor in there. But, yeah. Now that we don't really care about the Archer anymore, we're going to continue flying again. Oh, it's so good to fly around. Oh! Also, we have four new Patreons. I want to say thank you guys for becoming Patreons. I ended up building a, another Patreon statue to dedicate to you, dedicate it to the new Patreons. So the new the four new Patreons so far are... Pastime, Draken, and the Gaming Gamists. And Dylan Jolly, Michael Smith, and Tactical AD. Oh, that's six. Wait, I can't remember if I've already mentioned two of you before, but whatever the case is, thank you for becoming Patreons. Okay, let's go test out this species slicer on Yacha. Okie dokie. Alright, cool. So, are you guys still alive in there, by the way, or... Yes, you are. Cool. I'm just gonna leave you in there, because, you know, I'm a horrible person. Alright, let's grab a few Yacha and see how well we can do against them. Alright, let's close this up. And kaboom. Okay, this is actually not too bad. Oh man, I was hoping for a... Holy fuck, that was a lot of levels. <laughs> I was hoping for maybe a stronger... 
I was there hoping for a much more stronger outcome. I do about six and a half, six and a half damage, hearts damage per attack. That's 18.25 attack damage per hit. So, hmm. I feel like it's not enough. We, we need something that one shots them. That, that's how, that's how, that's how we have to go about this. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to slaughter just a few more. To let out my frustrations, because I haven't been able to record in the last three days. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. So I actually set up my Tinker Station. Just, uh, just a very temporary setup. I, I miss using Nunku's. I used to actually sneak into Nunku's base and use it. He had a really nice Tinker setup until he was, until he's gone. Anyway, much sad. Um, I'm just going to quickly be crafting a new sort of weapon, and I want to see if I can rival a weapon to this one. Okay. So, in theory, this thing should make... We're basically trying to make the old sword we made called Death to All, that completely annihilated anything we attacked with it. So, what I'm going to be doing is putting back together the Death to All sword, and just basically calling it a V2 version. Oh, oh, I mean, um, version 2 sword. I just said version, version 2 sword. <laughs> Anyway, uh, cool. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade this guy, and we'll see how far we can get. Alright, so I think I have this thing nearly completely maxed out. I'm actually gonna go quickly kill a wither, uh, just off camera, real quick. And I wanna see how strong I can get this thing to. So what I got on it at the moment is just, m just primarily sharpness, and also we have a battery on there, so we just charge it up to keep it, keep it intact. Alright guys, we are back. Killed the wither. Awesome. Um, I actually died, which is hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Alright, um, so I have the nether star ready. I actually took everything into the nether realm, and I forgot I forgot the new sword in my AE system, so I had to kill it with this sword. And as with the Yachar, this sword seems to do a lot of damage, but not enough in my opinion. So, we are about to completely customize this sword. Uh, we're going to call it Species Killer V2. Cool. And then we're just going to completely sharpen this thing up. So by having an armory, we can sort of have like shrines to each of these different weapons that we spend a lot of time on. Um, we can also have a place to store all of our weapons as well. So, you are 17 attack damage at the moment. That is 18 attack damage. This, however, bypasses armor. So... Not entirely sure how this is going to work, but we're about to find out. Alright. Bam. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. And then the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, interesting. The new sword does a little bit more, bit more damage. I think overall I'm actually going to stick with... Hmm, this is a tough one. Stop hitting me, please. Thank you. Okay, so that one did three, five, six, six and a half hearts damage. So this one is going... The next one's going to do... Ow. So that one did... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About seven and a half, actually. So, wow. Okay. We found out which one's stronger. This one. Awesome. All right, we've got the Species Killer V2. Uh, we should just call it the, the Death to All V2, but whatever. Anyway. Uh, location for Armory now. Hmm. We could have the Armory shooting off over here. I actually have... Yes, that's, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. I actually have a section over here that's sort of hollowed out. I made this area in anticipation of shooting out into the crater at some point. Um, I think... Yeah, I think uh, making the armory over here should be should be fine. Um, I'll, I'll just sort of fill in the crater with um, excess stone that I have. Cool. All right. 
So now the last part of the video will be me making an armory. Hopefully you guys like it. I'll try to find some neat music to put in the time lapse. And if it goes for way too long, and the actual video itself is already going too long, I might just um, cut back and you'll see exactly how it looks within like three seconds now, um, of a, as of now. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, we are back. So, hope you guys like it. Um, we walk in over here. This is um, right outside our area where we've got the decontamination chamber. Uh, this is the original entrance that we we're going to use. I mean, the, the entrance we made that we want to use, but we never actually got around to it. Um, but anyway, getting to the point of the video, the armory. This is the armory. So, up here we have ammo lockers, gun lockers, absolutely everywhere. This is just like a storage area over here. Um, we have also got sword pedestals all along here to put our swords in. We've also got armor stands, and I also crafted the sniper rifle and the smart gun as well, just so I could put them on these diet and drying racks so they can rotate around as if they're hanging off the wall. So that's really cool. Awesome. So I think I'm proud of this build. It took me a little bit, quite a bit actually, um, but yeah, for now I like it. So... In theory, we can place whatever we want on these tool racks over here. We can place our swords. Okay, we can't place that sword over there. I'm pretty sure we can. Pretty sure we can place our swords like that as well. But vanilla swords, any swords that are original and um, native to Minecraft, you should be able to place them in the sword pedestals like that. So I'm actually going to leave that sword there, and I'm going to take back my species killer V2. And I think we are done for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun make, making this armory build. Uh, don't forget, when the season ends, I will be releasing save files of different periods of time where Nunku's house existed and Nunku's house didn't exist. So all these builds, you'll be able to just, just to have a look through them and see how it all works and what I've got behind the walls, etc., etc. So, yeah, just keep that keep that in mind. I'll probably be releasing a save file once the season is over. Cool. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Adios.